What is up, everybody? It's me with Best There Is Games. I'm actually in the shop as we speak. I hate I have a holy glare above me, above me, above me, above me from our lamp. Um, we had, with the summertime coming, I switched out my light, which a bit of lighting with the fan. It's not the brightest light. It looks bright, but it's not the brightest, but it's decent. That being said, figure the hell I have time right now. And, um, just kind of wanted to go through a couple things as far as what I do here all the time where I'm talking about stores and certain games, magic or whatever. But this time we're going to talk about price support. So, I just to everyone that plays, I wonder how many percentage of you guys play games to either get a prize or something when you come to wherever you play at? Or do you guys not even care? So this is the big dilemma, and it's crazy. Um, a lot of these games, you know, let's go for example, let's go with, with Netrunner and Star Wars card game, uh, the living card game, or uh, I think they got rid of that. Let's say X-Wing, any of those kind, Fancy Flight, they give you kits for an event to run, um, but what if you want to run that weekly, you know? And you have to find out your own price support. And if you don't do price support but do a weekly, some people may not show up at all because they want prizes. But at the same time, you kind of feel like, don't you just want to play? And that's how I get with some of these things. So for, let's just throw a few out there. Uh, with Hero Clicks, you're able to buy kits to give out for the whole month. Um, I usually buy the max I can get because leftovers are given to new players in the future or I just throw them in the pool later on when we do different events. Um, then we have Dragon Ball now who you have to go through a different company and they give out their BBC promos and that's for just entering you get it as a prize and then we support our own prize support. So with the Hero Clicks you don't get a prize automatically for playing you have to win it. Uh, Dragon Ball, you get the, the the pack at the time a while ago. You used to get up to thirty to eighty dollars while we're doing six dollar entry. It felt like crazy ripoff to me as a store owner, but at the same time, I don't want to screw over the players. But it was crazy. Now they've all kind of dropped down a little bit. Then we got Magic. Magic is probably the biggest and the best as far as if they make sure we have F and M promos. There's promos for open house, league, a bunch of things they want us to do. But you can kind of give those out the way you want. But it's always there. And that might be a good reason to get people to play. But at the same time, they saw a huge hit with Friday Night Magic when they stopped doing the promos and started making them foil tokens. People just were not having it. And I have the stacks and stacks to prove that. But that being said, now we go over to um, the games like Destiny, which we run twice a week. We have a lot of people that love to play. And this is where it goes back to the players that love to play or, you know, get something. So, a lot of times we just play. We hang out and play. Um, but when you do a tournament, you do feel like you got to put stuff out there. So, we'll put packs or whatever. But what sucks is you don't get the promos like we've been getting for seasons and stuff like that. Like this season, we have the Battle Droid alt art and then the Quick Draw. Um, uh, actually, Battle Droid's full art. The alt art is the uh, Quick Draw. And we have the shield tokens. So I'm figuring out ways for us to give those out during tournaments this month. Um, instead of holding one event and giving everybody one then and this and that. But again, I am very grateful for what Fancy Flight does and what they do give us. Um, but it's just one of those things that I think they don't think we want to play it uh, more than, you know, one time um, a month. And or every three months because they're seasonal things so that's the thing is like a lot of these things we have to figure out and if we don't figure out how to give prizes we figure what we we have to just suck it up and just play and then that's the conundrum that's where do do we have people that are willing to play without getting prizes so my thing is to, to everybody that would watch this or hear this when you play I always wonder are people playing for the prizes or are people playing because they want to play um, for me, I know people will see me talk about Heroclix a lot. Heroclix is probably by far my most, just the best thing I like to do, my favorite thing to do. 
Um, there are times I get bored with it, don't get me wrong. I'm gonna have to make a video about origins, um, all the stuff that's leaked out. Um, but I will play that in my spare time, same with Destiny. But Hero Clicks is more, I will more get it. I'm down for it right then and there if you ask me. But the only problem with that is you gotta put together a team. Destiny, I usually have decks built. Um, but that being said, for the Hero Clicks players, a lot of times we'll just play to play. And it looks like it changes by community to community. So I wonder what it, what do people think from certain communities. Like, I know Yu-Gi-Oh! used to be, um, they wanted their Astro Packs. I had a guy that ran a store and he would give me horror stories about if they didn't have the Astro Packs. So is it a community to community thing about what people want to play? Because for me, I feel like it's just the joy of the game. If I'm not paying entry, let's say, for like Hero Clicks, you don't. You shouldn't be getting charged for Hero Clicks. Even with the OP kit, I pay out of my pocket to give out prizes, but that's to get people in. Um, hopefully they buy stuff while they're here, or if not, they order for me when they do order. That's fine. But they're not going to make me broke buying those prize supports, but I do love having prize supports. It's fun to give stuff away, and it's fun to win things for other players, you know. They won something that week. No matter how bad your week went, hey, I won something. Makes you feel a little bit better. But I think genuinely, or generally, and genuinely, we just want to play. And I've been noticing with Destiny guys lately, um, local, 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 local Destiny guys, we just want to play. I see a lot of people with the whole rally aid thing and all that for Destiny. They want prizes and prizes. That'd be great. It'd be great for us to have more prizes to give out because I do see the issue. But for the most part, it comes down to do you love to play the game or do you want prizes? So I, I just... I'm trying to figure out what's the best way to approach these things and approach the games that are lacking in prizes. Do we just suck it up and just hope that people love the game? Or do we move away from that? Now, Magic is a thing also. As long as there's credit to give out, they'll play, or some kind of packs, they'll play. They don't necessarily need promos, but promos are a big factor. Like I said earlier, them turning into tokens on Friday nights instead of the actual cards promo cards because we have promo cards that were from older sets that were worth money at the time when certain visions came out and things like that it was just bananas um people would show up that night but then you get people that just show up just to try to get it and it's fine it's a great incentive that's what they're there for but it doesn't it's kind of a bummer when you have a guy showing up to your shop guy or gal i should say showing up to your shop that just wants to be there to get that thing doesn't care about the environment now for me Last night we did Battle Bond. Battle Bond um, is decent. I think it's it's fun. Uh, players are liking it a lot. I think um, it will get stale eventually, but people are having a lot of fun with it right now, and I think that's great. I gave out Jace's uh, spell books to the two winners, the team, two of them. So it was an okay little incentive, and like made it part of the, the the pack payout I normally do. I just minus a few packs. So with that being said, um, you know, we had 20 people in my 400 square shop. Now, is that we have a ton of people? I mean, that's just kind of the magic players. We have more also in here. But is that just because of me giving that simple prize or the fact that these guys just really like this new game? And that's my, my, my issue is because next week, I have Standard on the list, and then we have Store Championship, which will be a draft, because um, no one's playing Standard in my neck of the woods. Mostly the grinders, and they play at certain shots, but the grinders are a lot of people that, some of them are good guys, but a lot of them are really hard to play with, because, you know, they got the money to spend on these decks, and a lot of uh, other players, just, they could have money, they just don't want to spend that money, they don't want to wait till it drops. But my thing is, what, you know, what will bring them next time? So next week, do I not do try standard again? So I'm trying to push standard. Do I just throw battle battle bond on there again? So I'm thinking about throwing that on for Friday, and that's what it comes down to. Do people come for the love of a game or what the prize is? So that was just my my little spiel on that. Um, hopefully this will come out okay. Again, just using uh, my different equipment while I'm here because I'm cleaning up, and then I was like, I've been wanting to talk about price support. And how people felt about it, and how different um, players in different games act about and feel about 
how many people are playing in games? Um, is it just by certain games that people play differently, where they play for the fun of it, or they play for the prizes? Um, Dragon Ball had a time where we saw a lot of people get their packs and would drop, and players weren't having that. They wanted to play. It's, it's great. We, we wanted it. And then there was times where other players wouldn't show up to places that didn't have those free packs. So does, is that freebie... Is that more important to you than actually having a good game and having fun or whatever? So that's just my question to everybody is, what, you know, what does it come down for to you? And I think store owners do our best to um, balance out uh, both. We want to make sure we have stuff to give out, but we also want those players that love the game and want to keep playing and you know just aren't dickholes about it and we want the best people around whether that means the best players or that means the best people genuine, i fell genuine people uh you know um because when it comes to genuine people it, it's it's tough and like last night i had a ball just watching everybody play um battle bond was in full effect we see i had a few people that were a little upset with losing but you know they got over it but for the most part a packed house happy people food and soda flowing it was just a good night so that's what i always want to have you know decent decent price support but happy people and people happy with what's going on how it's being ran and that's overall what I want. But I just want to know what people think. What communities, rather, what are they rather in it for? Just I want to play the game. I want to play. I want to play. Or is it I want to play if I get this? Other than that, I'm not in the mood. I'm just curious what people actually think about it. Because I there's no real answer. I feel like, but it's good to hear people's voices and and their opinions. So, so with that being said, we're gonna wrap it up for my guy falls down again, and uh, say goodbye to the magic room. The magic room is where the magic happens. It's a great place. Oh, I got to get all my oh, my uh, magic stuff updated. Got to get rid of some of these posers for some newer ones. Um, we always got all decked out magic mats for everybody on their tables. But yeah, any who's or whater. Uh, thank you guys for watching. If you watch it, if not, cool beans. Um, yeah, 